This morning in the buzz, picture this, you are driving down 95, pumping the tunes, but what are you listening to? Some car makers are betting it's not your CD player, huh? A report, Automotive News, says the days of CD players are numbered and in some cases already gone. When General Motors rolls out the 2013 Chevy, Chevrolet Sonic this summer, it comes with an info entertainment system minus a CD player. They say with more people listening to music straight from their smartphones and apps, CDs are obsolete. Automakers also say CD players are expensive to produce, so this move will ultimately save money. What are you rocking out to? Um, uh, well, I have to be honest. I don't even have a CD player in my car. <laughs> you don't? Uh, I have a cassette player. Cassette player? It's an old car. Uh, it's, but no, I mean, I, I understand where they're coming from because now with the, the aux cables, people are plugging in their smartphones, mm -hmm. their iPods. Right. Um, and, and, of course, in the day and age that we're in, no one wants to wait and listen to... God forbid a radio commercial. No, you know, they're always flicking. I'm, I'm a mad You're a flicker. Mm -hmm. I, I am. Um, so of course, you know, they just want to hook up their iPod, listen to a playlist, and just have it go. Right. And it's all songs that you know you're gonna like. You're listening to C with CDs in your car. Actually, I, I actually do CDs a lot when I do books on CD. Oh, okay. I love going to the public libraries and checking out, you know, the newest book. My newest one is the Friday Night Knitting Club. Completely. <laughs> Not <laughs> what you'd think, <laughs> but um, it's really a lot of fun. So, But I, I, I have it on my iPod for the first oh, time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was able to download it through the Warwick Public Library. They have this system called Overdrive, and you can download it on your iPod. Oh, but generally, I've been doing it with CDs, so I would be sad to see them go. I okay. think if you went out to my truck in the parking lot, I do have a CD player in mm -hmm. there. Okay. I think uh, Journey may be in my CD, uh, in my CD player. But uh, <laughs> a lot of times I will listen to my iPod or my you know, satellite radio that's in the car. And, and yeah, I, I'm wondering how this is going to go because I know for as many people that do use their iPods and things like that, sometimes I don't have my iPod on me or maybe it's dead or yep. maybe I want to save the battery for when I'm something out, else. either mm -hmm. on the road or mm -hmm. in the gym or, or something that I don't have another option. Yes. So I think taking away that CD player is going to hurt a lot of people, it especially is. the mix CDs. Yeah. Who doesn't love a good mix CD? Mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody, everybody loves a mix CD. I mean, I remember when, when I first started driving, uh, there was an 8-track tape. Now, you guys will never know what an 8-track tape is. is. Yeah. <laughs> that was in my first, uh, my first car, I think, and it was you know, AM radio uh, and a cassette player, mm -hmm. and used to make mix, CD, mix uh, you know, cassettes for everybody right. when you were going out. Yeah, so that was, that's what I had. That's what I had in my car. <laughs> do you think that this is going to, to be a good idea? I mean, do you think people are going to jump on it? Do you think maybe I people think won't buy the cars? I think people might be a little afraid to buy the cars. I mean, I feel like the, the switch from tapes to CDs still has been relatively quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, a lot of people have these great CD collections. And I don't know about you, but sometimes if I'm trying to maneuver my MP3 player through the stereo system, it's confusing. You know, I don't know how to get mm -hmm. to the playlist that I want. I don't know how to find the song that I want. Whereas if I can just take that CD, Pop it, it in, in, you're good to go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think a lot of times, too, you know, people are so worried about the texting and driving. But for me, it's just smartphones in general or iPods yes. and driving because whether you're, um, you know, texting something or let's say now you're scrolling through your music, mm -hmm. either way, you're somehow distracted. So with a CD, you're right. You just pop it in. You don't have to press anything except maybe the skip button if you want yes. to get to another. This song. morning when I posted that we were going to be talking about this on you know on the show this morning one of the people on Facebook said oh my god what am I going to do my kid listens to Barney in the car and I don't want to, you know what, where is he going to put it yeah, yeah 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 especially for people with kids I'm sure they have that one disc that maybe calms them down a bit gets oh. them through a long car ride and or you play so. over and over <laughs> and over again through the yes. whole ride absolutely well and I think back to the library when I used to babysit we'd go and we'd get the books on tape or those exactly children's yeah. song CDs and you know we'd have to really learn a lot more about how to download them off the internet free mm -hmm. from the libraries if they were going to make the switch right. for people to feel comfortable yeah. yeah so it's easy it is easier with the cds we still like cds so maybe <laughs> don't take them out just Please. yet we do just yet will was saying that of course he already got some facebook comments yes, on did. yours i'm yes, sure many more have accumulated since then i know between facebook and twitter mary i, I mean finding a lot of what people have said yeah, for example, Ali Keys on Facebook says, I love CDs. Sometimes computers fail us and our MP3s are gone. So yes, I use my CD player. I love our DVD player for long trips. And Amanda Marie states, my mom has one in her car but barely uses it. I stick to the good old radio and my iPhone's Pandora app. Gotta love that Pandora. You can weigh in too by voting on today's poll. Do you use the CD player in your car? Yes, and I love it. 
or no, I use my iPod and radio. And here's a look at some other topics that are trending online today. The new movie Red Tails is getting a lot of attention online. The story was conceived by Star Wars creator George Lucas. The movie is about a crew of African American pilots in World War II. And you can check out a seven minute clip online. It'll be out in theaters on January 20th. The Doors has a song now out called She Smells So Nice. Mmm. It's being released more than 40 years after Jim Morrison's death. Take a listen. And today's viral video shows a fearless little girl going face to face with a fierce lion. Check this out. She doesn't even get afraid. Just staring at him. Maybe she thinks it's Simba from The Lion King. I don't know, but that little girl, look at her. She's so proud and excited. I'd be freaking out. I'll be back again at the end of the show with your poll results.